Hey, next, I got the pigskin here and I'm ready to throw it to you. All right, let me see. It sure ain't booby trapped or nothing. Just want to play some football. Yeah, I don't see how you would booby trap that anyway, so throw it. <laughs> What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. So in my last video, I showed you guys how to pull off five simple pranks on your friends and family during the Super Bowl. This happens. And the way to do that is to tilt the can on its side just like this. Oh! <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, since Fatal's here too, he's gonna help me out with this. We're gonna show you five ways that you guys can set up some booby traps and pranks on friends and family when you guys are watching the big game. These are easy to set up and it might ruin their Super Bowl experience, but that's okay, because we're pranksters and that's what we do. Before I get started though, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel with all notifications turned on. One last thing, give this video a like, and check it out! When it comes to the Super Bowl, there's always a ball being passed around during the party, right? You cannot have a Super Bowl without a football. So, somebody always brings one or somebody always wants to play before or after the game. So, there's always one that's just there. So here's a way to booby trap a cup of soda. So right here I have a styrofoam cup and I'm gonna fill it up with some soda. And I'm gonna be using Pepsi for this. Now you don't have to fill it up all the way to the top, about midway works because we're actually gonna put the football on top of the cup, like so guys. So it's gonna be nesting on there. On the back, we're gonna put a piece of tape. So half of the tape is gonna be on the ball and the other half is gonna be on the cup. Just like this. And this is the back view. So this is what your victim is going to see. They can't see the tape, right? But the back has a strip of tape. And that's it, guys. Whoever grabs this ball is going to make a mess. Let me show you an example. All right, so cool. There's a football there. I don't know what it's doing on top of that cup, but I want to play with it. Oh, shoot. Wow, look at all that mess. No way. Wow. <laughs> Let me get a towel out. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen, guys. You guys can easily get your friends and family with a football and a cup of soda. So as you guys can see, I have some chips right here in the bowl. The Hot Cheetos Extra. And basically when everybody's watching the Super Bowl, everybody always has a table where they put their snacks, right? And always there's the controller right next to the snacks, right? To control the TV volume, turn it up or down. So this is very simple guys and all you need for this is some tape and the controller they're watching TV with, right? So what you want to do is you just want to take a piece of tape. The best time to do this too guys is when it's halftime, when everybody's being lazy and everybody's most likely going to enjoy these snacks, right? So that's the perfect opportunity for you to strike. And what you guys want to do is just put this piece of tape, half of it on the bottom of this remote and the other half on the plate. Just like that. So, whenever, when it's halftime and everybody's like, oh man, I want some chips now, but let me turn down the volume because we're not watching the game, right? So when they pick up the controller, this is what's gonna happen, guys. Oh, what a good game, time for some snacks. But before the snacks, let me lower the volume. Oh, what the hell? Look at that, guys. Oh no, Hot Cheetos Extra all over the table. Yeah, very simple to do, guys. You guys can pull this one off for sure and be successful at it. Hey Fado, would you still eat those chips though? Oh, okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to Super Bowl snacks, everybody loves to eat chips. You cannot have a Super Bowl party without chips. So here, I have a bag of Hot Cheetos Extra. Well, we're gonna set up a simple but stinky prank on our friends and family. For this prank, we're gonna open up the bag but not from the top. We're actually gonna open it from the bottom, guys. So, flip it upside down and open it. All right, that works. Now I'm gonna empty out the bag. And look at the emptiness, guys. It's like they don't even try no more. Well, we're gonna dump it out, guys. We want no chips in there whatsoever. Okay, so now the bag is completely empty and that's how we want it. We're gonna have to fill it up though, so it looks a little bit fat. You guys can use anything. I myself am gonna use some toilet paper that I had left over from our previous video. All right, so I'm gonna fill it up. 
gonna fill it up with Donald? Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put them in there. Just to make the chips look like they're fat. All right, so now it looks like a bag full of chips. Luckily, I still had some liquid ass left. So that's what I'm gonna squirt inside this bag. So I feel bad for the guy that's in here. All right, so I'm gonna squirt a few drops in there. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, sorry, Trump. <laughs> All right, guys, before the smell comes out, we're gonna close it. And you guys can use tape for this or hot glue or super glue, whatever you have, but make sure that it seals up so that nobody can smell it. A piece of clear tape should do it for me. And the reason why I opened it from the bottom, guys, is because obviously people always open it from the top. So nobody's gonna pay attention to the bottom. And at this point, the prank is set. So when they're watching the Super Bowl and the bag of chips catches somebody's attention, they're gonna want some, right? They see them on the table, they look fat, they look new, they've never been opened. So they're gonna grab it and it looks, it feels kind of full, watch, feel it. Oh, yeah. yeah, it does feel, huh? So it feels full, so they're gonna naturally open it. And when they do that, oh. Uh. Oh man! Instantly, huh? How bad does it smell? It smells really bad. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled liquid ass before, but that stuff reeks. Oh yeah, it does. So if they show you the bag and they're gonna be like, hey, what's this? Uh, and then you're like, oh, let me see. And then you just do this, guys. Ooh. <laughs> let some of that stink out. And if you guys have Donald Trump like we have oh. Donald Trump, <laughs> it's even better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, especially if they're fans of this guy, huh? <laughs> now, if you don't want to mess with people's food or drinks or whatever, guys, and if you don't want to make a mess, then we're going to make our own remote. So if there's a smart TV where you're watching the game, all you guys got to do is download the app on your phone. Most smart TVs do have a remote that you guys can download for your phone. And when people are watching the game, just turn the volume up and down or you guys can actually change the channel to just make them upset. And it's super funny because they won't be able to enjoy the game and they won't know who's changing the channel. Another thing you guys can do if you wanna mess with the remote is to just undo the back cover and remove one of the batteries. Just like this, or you can remove both. Put it back, guys, and now at this point, the remote is useless because it will not power on or nothing. So you guys can be using your smartphone and turning down the volume, but when they grab this remote, they won't be able to turn down or up the volume, and then they'll realize that it was missing a battery. Yeah, guys, once they fall for this prank, just give them back the battery, and that's it. All right, for this one, all you need is the football that the guys are probably throwing around while they're enjoying the game and a little packet of ketchup like I have right here guys everybody usually typically has these in their refrigerator I know I have millions of them and a piece of tape so when you guys snag the football maybe they got tired of throwing the pigskin around you just sit it down grab your little packet of ketchup lay it flat right on the football just like I'm doing so here and then you guys want to put two pieces of tape on each corner of the little packet of ketchup just like I'm doing so here. It's very simple to do guys. It shouldn't be complex to do. It's very, very simple. And the success rate of this, what would you say next? Oh, it's 100% man. It's a foolproof prank that you guys can do. Look at that. Little shiny packet of ketchup. But on this side, it just looks like the pig skin, right guys? Like a football, I'm ready to be caught. So once you guys have done that, you guys want to just split a little slit through the ketchup so that when somebody catches it splat and i took this little trusty blade that next has and i'm gonna put it to work all right here we go performing a surgery there i see pass me the scalpel sir look at that just like that it doesn't have to be nothing too fancy guys as long as you guys make a cut you should be good so this one is ready to go what do you mean fancy that is fancy ketchup <laughs> You guys get it? Next cuts jokes. All right, so it's ready. So let's put this baby to work. Oh man, I gotta do the demo, right? Yeah. 
You ready for that? Hey, next, I got the pigskin here and I'm ready to throw it to you. All right, let me see. It sure ain't booby trapped or nothing. Just want to play some football. Yeah, I don't see how you would booby trap that anyway, so throw it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Very simple but highly effective, guys. And you know what? You could throw it to somebody else. Once you fall for it, throw it to the next victim. Yeah, you could just play it off like it didn't even happen to you and just throw it to the next person. Yeah. Because once that pigskin flies, somebody else wants it right away. And that's it, guys. Those were five simple pranks you guys can set up on friends and family during the Super Bowl. I want to thank Sinfado for helping me out with these pranks. Go check us out at Cynix TV, guys. We have lots of videos on there that you guys can watch. Also, let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win the Super Bowl. Is it going to be the Patriots or the Rams? Let me know down below. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. So as soon as they place it down, this happens. Oh no! This is what's gonna happen. They'll grab it casually. And just like that. Oh no! <laughs>